Welcome to Gossip About Gossip, powered by Hedera Hashgraph. In each episode, we'll cut through the hype of blockchain promises and explore real-world examples of organizations creating the next generation of decentralized applications, which will bring trust back to the internet for us all. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of Gossip About Gossip, the podcast where we talk about real-world applications of distributed ledger technology. My name is Zenobia Godschalk, and I'm the SVP of Communications here at Swirls Labs, helping to grow the Hedera ecosystem. Today, I am joined by Andrew McFarlane, who is the CTO of Validation Cloud. Hi, Andrew. How are you? Good. How are you, Zenobia? Thank you for having me. Good, good. We are delighted to have you on. So I think Validation Cloud is going to be a new name for a lot of members of our community. Can we just start from the beginning and tell us what is Validation Cloud and what do you all do? Awesome. So Validation Cloud, we're a Web3 infrastructure company for many of the the top crypto networks uh, across Web3. Uh, There are three core pillars of our platform, staking, node API and data as a service. Uh, And in particular for the node API product, which we'll talk a lot about given the launch in the Hedera ecosystem, it was built to be a global scale, high throughput, low latency platform for connecting folks into Web3. Okay. And so you, you know, you mentioned the, um, the Hedera ecosystem. So tell us a little bit about that integration and what that potentially means for um, other parts of the Hedera ecosystem. Absolutely. So for Hedera, uh, in our Node API platform, we've launched uh, Mirror Node as well as JSON RPC access. What that means uh, specifically is that uh, enterprises, developers can build on our API endpoints to communicate with the network for Mirror Node as a service uh, that gives access to historical information on chain, perfect for transaction analytics, uh, auditing historical information, things of that nature. And for the JSON RPC relay, uh, which is very exciting, uh, it maps to an addition in the Hedera ecosystem for EVM compatibility. And so DeFi protocols, wallets like MetaMask can integrate on top of uh, our APIs and interact with Hedera through our platform as if they were interacting with Ethereum or another EVM compatible chain. Fantastic. And I think, you know, this is a theme that I think we started to see. We touched on it a little bit last season in this podcast, and I think we're seeing a lot more too, is just, you know, the building up the, of the other infrastructure, right? All of these, as people build more sophisticated, robust applications, they want that really um, strong underlying infrastructure. And you all are known for, you know, you're consistently ranked as the fastest global RPC node provider. Um, so why is that important in, you know, what you're bringing to Hedera? Absolutely. So there's a couple ways to look at that. First, uh, ecosystems throughout Web3 are global. And so it's important that there's uh, low latency, high throughput, uh, no matter where you're trying to interact uh, with a blockchain from on the planet. Uh, So that's what we can bring to an ecosystem, that global scale uh, and performance. Uh, But it's also important on an application or enterprise level. Um, You always need uh, the ability to push Uh, more throughput in order to scale your applications, build more sophisticated applications. Um, And we also use this this global scale network as a resilience mechanism. Perhaps most importantly, uh, node API endpoints are your lifeline as a Web3 business. Uh, If you lose that connectivity, uh, you you can't communicate with the chain at all. Uh, And so our global scale doubles as a resilience mechanism. So with that single URL and API key, you can interact with the entire scale. What that means, if there's any local or regional based issues, you're simply rerouted automatically to the next closest point of entry and your business continues and has uh, its important resilience to keep on operating and communicating with the network. Yeah. And these are terms that I think, you know, anyone who has been in 
enterprise software for a while will be very familiar with, right? That kind of infrastructure, and you need that enterprise-grade infrastructure if you're going to trust, you know, companies of every size, right? A startup can't be down for um, any period of time. That's their lifeblood. And a, a large brand also doesn't want to be down for any period of time. That's their brand reputation. So, you know, that level of robustness, I think you're starting to see become much more important to these Web3 ecosystems. Absolutely. And perhaps one more important point that that goes along uh, with that resilience and uh, in infrastructure is uh, SOC 2 compliance. So we've worked very uh, diligently uh, to have that be a part of the platform, which is really the gold standard for data security yeah. in the Web 2 world. And so we're bringing that to Web 3 along with the resilience of the infrastructure. Yeah, that's absolutely a checkbox for a lot of people as they look at their providers. Um, Fantastic. So I'm a developer. You know, when can I, I'm super excited to hear what you're talking about. Um, When can I start using your platform to connect with Hedera? So it's it's live. You can simply go to validationcloud.io, sign up for an account, very simple, with your email, select Node API uh, in, in our platform, and then you'll see the option to name an API key, select Hedera, and then you can select access to either mainnet or testnet. Uh, and then you'll get issued an API key and you can uh, right away start making calls uh, to both the Mirror node and JSON RPC relay behind that URL. Okay. I want to come back a little bit to that developer experience, but before we do, um, you know, how you work with a lot of, like you said, different Web3 companies. How was that experience um, integrating with Hedera specifically? Uh, It it was very seamless uh, to integrate with the network. Um, There's obviously a lot of great features that we were excited to support. Uh, So there was uh, some great uh, collaboration with the Hedera and the Swirls teams in order to get up to speed on the network. Uh, but uh, it, it's a top tier network in the, in this space and, and one that we're glad to be supporting. Well, we are, we are certainly glad about that as well. And then, you know, uh, the, the developers have now, okay, great. They're signing up, you know, they're, they've gotten started, uh, you know, any things that you would want to share with them in terms of tips or tricks, uh, things along the way to think about as they um, start to get engaged with you. Yeah, I I think one important point is uh, the complementary nature of our platform to the developer or builder experience. Um, You know, operating this infrastructure, uh, if it's not your area of expertise or it's not the end goal of your business, can be expensive, uh, can also require a number of internal resources uh, in order to to manage the infrastructure. And so we're we're handling that for you, uh, very much similar to the trend of uh, cloud infrastructure in, in the Web2 context, where at one point, every one on the internet who was offering a service would also manage the infrastructure, but then realized that it, it made sense uh, to achieve uh, you know, more scale by uh, uh, outsourcing that to another firm like AWS and GCP. We fill that, that role in the context of Hedera and other Web3 ecosystems. Let us manage the infrastructure for the, the scale, performance, resilience, and compliance and focus on building your your application uh, on top of the infrastructure. Yeah, and I love that message. I think you're seeing that evolution. I talked to someone the other day who said, you know, we actually started off building our own blockchain, um, you know, and, and you sort of think, good God, like you had a whole application that you were trying to build and you were also, you know, we know what it's like to build a, you know, a blockchain. That is hard work. There's a lot to build, manage, et cetera. And so I think you're starting to see that abstraction go up the stack too, it sounds like. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Okay. So, you know, developers can start today. What do you see for Validation Cloud sort of, you know, if you can share either roadmap or just plans for sort of next six to 12 months, things that people should be keeping an eye out for? Yeah. So uh, we're pretty active on, on social media. So keep an eye out for uh, a list of announcements uh, from a, a growing ecosystem of partners throughout Hedera that we're excited to be working with. And there's a number of exciting uh, developments for H- the Hedera ecosystem, which as an infrastructure provider and gateway uh, into that underlying network will be supporting along the way. Uh, one of which that we talked about on the call is the EVM compatibility. So that's being rolled out more and more 
as we speak. And so that's something that you'll be able to access through our platform in a seamless manner. Uh, and we're excited to onboard enterprises and developers, whether you're uh, just coming into Hedera for the first time, or whether you're an experienced enterprise who's been in for multiple years, our platform has something that can support for you, and we're excited to work with you. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Andrew. I am sure that our community is excited to hear and learn more about this, and we hope that you will continue to keep us posted on your progress. We sure will. Thanks. Thank you, Zanel. Oh, 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 o